everybody, I'm Tony Fleming from Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Thank you for joining me on today's super hot video. We're talking about Impala SS409 425. What's that mean to the layman? Well, it means, first off, a lot of power. Secondary, it is legendary. That even rhymed kind of nicely. Secondary, it's legendary. The 409 Impala is, is an iconic muscle car. When you get something like this, nine times out of ten you probably haven't seen one believe it or not go to a car show seeing a car that is a factory dual quad four speed big 409 motored car like this is very rare we're going to walk around the car talk about some great features that are on it some of the restoration that's been done to it and how to determine if cars are real or they are faked all right so let's get started and enjoy the tour all right, so listen, we want to talk about how authentic this car is. This is a real 923 coated car, meaning it came from the factory in Roman red, right? Very rare because it's beautiful and it's rare, makes it even better. However, on the cow tag, it has a feature on it that shows you that it's an SS because it's coated for a bucket seat interior. Many people who fake these cars don't realize that the SS only came with bucket seats, right? You couldn't have a bench seat, even though the bench seat was the biggest seller on a regular Impala, the SS's only came with bucket seats. It's coded correctly for that, and those correct red bucket seats are in that car. And lastly, we should talk about the quality of the paint because that's uh, the piece for me when I pull into a car show or under the lights at night at a late night car show, you want it to glow and this car glows like crazy. Come in here and see how crisp and clear all those nice letters are. You can see them nice, Actually, you should be able to read every letter nice and crisp, everything that's there. And the better the paint looks in here under these harsh lights, the better it's going to look at your local car show. All right, so we're going to take a peek under the hood, right? We're going to take a peek under the hood. Why? Because this is some kind of special. Because you don't get to see it very often. And if I put my hand in the right place, that would help as well. Anyway, all right. Wow. This is some kind of cool. All right, so look here. We got the correct air cleaner on here, the correct uh, uh, fuel lines, right? We have the battery topper. We're adding a couple more pieces. I did the video a little early on this car because uh, I wanted to get it out, but we're finalizing a couple things like tower clamps that belong on here. They're not there. This radiator is not correct. It is an upgrade to the car. So we can do one of two things. You can either replace it with the stock radiator or because this radiator flows almost 100% more than the stock radiator, uh, we could also paint it black if it bothers you, or we could just leave it alone. However, it makes for such a different experience when you're in traffic, driving a car with a bunch of people on a hot day. It's, it's a game changer, right? Uh, the detail of the call-outs on the, on the valve covers is cool. We can see that it has power steering, right? And that is uh, really a nice thing. The car does have disc brakes, and that, my friends, is how we go, and we stop all at the same time. All right, so we want to talk about the back of this car for a second because a lot of styling is wrapped up in this. Like you have the engine turned uh, trim that's here. You have this jet age style looking uh, taillights. You have the super sport call out here. This is a great piece of 60s beauty styling with the nice cut line of the roof and the vents that are there, okay? That's all beautiful. The chrome is nice, the stainless trim is nice and what have you. But another thing that I really like is the detail that's inside here. And the detail inside here sometimes tells me what kind of car I'm getting. So this was a trade-in, right? And when it was traded in, it came just like this, which is nice. It had the correct mats in it. It had a car cover on it. Why is a car cover a big deal? It shouldn't a car come with a car cover? Of course it should, but they don't come with a car cover. However, this car was kept in the garage and a cover was put on it. So it was double loved, right? That's a nice feeling from somebody, as well as a full size spare and all the jack parts are there too. You know, some 99% of the cars never come with a spare and a jack. I see cars like this and I say, okay, this person took care of this car a little bit better than others. And I think that sometimes uh, that's how you end up with a better car. Someone who owned it before worked out a lot of the bugs. All right, as you're approaching your car, walking up before you get in, you go, wow, that's a great looking car because you know why? No B pillar here. No B pillar. That's what makes for a great sport coupe, right? This looks like the roof is all by itself kind of hovering on there. Let's get in now because that's where you're going to spend most of your time. All right, so we're looking here and we say, why is an Impala so legendary? Well, look at these door panels with the buttons on here, all the around here, the detail, the engine turn dash, right? Uh, this great gauge cluster here, but more importantly, this is a car that you could take 
another couple to dinner in or take the grandkids out or some friends out or the regular kids uh, if you want. It seats and it's comfortable, it's fast, it's powerful, it sounds amazing. And when I'm in here, I see the style of the 60s, man. It is so cool. It makes me smile because I see all these little touches that you just don't get in today's modern car. Listen, today's modern car is awesome. I'm not saying anything bad about it because it is. It's amazing, right? But when you're in this car and you drive to work on a Friday, right, you need to go for a ride. So when you're leaving work, you call on the way home, like whoever you need to call and say, listen, I'm on the way. I'll see you shortly. And you shut that phone off, man. No Twitter feed. No Facebook. No uh, whatever and then you have your friend come and you say listen come on steel let's go for a ride together and steel comes on in and get up here and you take your buddy and you go for a ride and off we go wheeling down the road in your four speed big block 409 425 impala super sport all right so we're going to close up this pretty rare impala super sport video with some things that i think are kind of cool for instance, we have power disc brakes, we have power steering, we have correct coated paint, we have a correct coated interior, right? The red line tires look really, really nice on here. Again, maybe the, the wheels are not authentic, you may or may not like that. That's the cool thing about getting this car. When you call us, right, those are the small changes we can make, or you might want to just leave it just as it is because it looks so good uh, just as it is, right? We have a real car here. We have a real 409, 425 horsepower, uh, engine in here we have we have the the details and makings of the beginning of the muscle car era right this is a big motor with a lot of carburation and a lot of power and a great sound and a great interior to go for a ride with some people in it it is amazing anyway we're like the video down at the bottom there share it with your friends and uh, subscribe to the channel uh, we have new content coming out all the time